Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to problem 8 on analysis of beams. Here I will be showing you a demo on asymmetrical isection beam analysis subjected to UDL on the upper flange using ANSYS mechanical APDL to obtain bending stress and deformation diagrams. Here I will be concentrating only on obtaining bending stress and deformation diagrams for which orientation is compulsory. Correct to orientation you have to take. In the previous problem I had concentrated on shear force and bending moment diagram where the orientation was not necessary. Okay. Now the problem is this as you see here an I section beam. Okay. I section with the top flange 90 by 10, web 150 by 10, this is 150 by 10, bottom flange 180 by 10 is used as a simply supported beam for a span length of 5 meters. 5 meters is the thing and carries UDL of 12 kilo Newton per meter or 12 Newton per millimeter. E equal to so much. Poisson's ratio is 0.27. Draw bending stress diagram using theoretical procedure and let's find maximum bending stress. Use mecha ANSYS mechanical APDL to verify the above answers and all that. Show deflection curve of the beam in ANSYS and maximum deformation due to UDL applied on the top flange. Okay. These are all the things what has been asked. Okay. Now you see here. Now this is all theoretical methods. I'll leave it to the reader as an exercise. See here. This is the top flange 90 by 10. Bottom flange 180 by 10. Web is 150 by 10. You do the center of gravity. By this method, what you learnt in uh, your uh, uh, engineering mechanics or mechanics of materials and hence find the center of gravity. The center of gravity is located at 67.85 mm from the bottom flange. Okay, Y bar is the center of gravity located at 67.85 mm from the bottom flange. This you will get it like this. You just practice. Okay, now after getting this, you see here this is 67.5. Moment of inertia also you find out. Moment of inertia, if you do by this method, moment of inertia about neutral axis. If you do that, it is 0.189 into 10 to the power of 8 millimeter to the power of 4. These things I'll show you. This is, you just go through my uh, procedure. Okay. Uh, what you've done in mechanics of materials or uh, that is, uh, that is uh, shunt of materials or of engineering mechanics. Same procedure I've adopted and I've got Moment of inertia about neutral axis is 0.189 into 10 to the power of 8 millimeter to the power of 4. Okay. Now you see here by theoretical methods, you see here already bending moment diagram I already got in the previous session only. But again I have shown you here it is 0.375 into 10 to the power of 8 Newton millimeter. Okay. And maximum bending stress of the top fiber. M into Y by I 0.375 into 10 to the power of 8 you take. And the top fiber is 170 minus 67.85. This is 202.67 MPa. Okay. And you see here, at the top fiber is always subjected to, as you see in the load is here, the top fiber is subjected to a compressive stress and the bottom fiber is subject to tensile. That is why this 202.67 is compressive. Okay. That is 202.27. Uh, minus, that is why I given minus 202.7 uh, minus 202.67 MPa negative I have given. In the same way, you see a maximum bending stress at the bottom fiber is M into Y by I. The same M is same. Y is 67.85 only. I you 0.189 into 10 to the power of 8. You get 134.62 MPa. That is maximum bending stress at the bottom fiber is 134.62. That is tensile. That is why I have taken positive. Okay. Now these things have to be proved using answers. Okay. Now we'll go for answers. See here, I have already uh, uh, got one log file. New uh, change job name I've done already in the name of Gurudat I section. And I've already changed the title also. Asymmetrical I section beam analysis bending stress diagram. Okay. Now we'll go in the as usual uh, same procedure. Preferences, structural, okay, you do. Then preprocessor, element type, add, edit, delete, add, beam, 2 node 188, you take, just say okay. Then you just say close. Then material properties, you go, material models, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic, you go. And as you know, it is all in mm, I am taking 2.1, if I take. And 0 0.27 is the Poisson's ratio you take. 2.5 E5 Newton per millimeter square. Okay. This you apply. Say okay. Then material 
exit you do. Okay. Then under section, be careful here. Section B, common section you take, common section. Here you take I section. I, I section if you take W1, as you see, it is 180. 180. W2, the top fiber length is 90. Carefully you enter. It is from the diagram what I have shown you already. W3 is this. Uh, that is W3, 150 plus 20. 10 plus 10. It is complete from this, this even including the thickness. It is 170 you take. Okay. And all thicknesses are 10, 10. 10. Then you take okay now if you take this if you see the preview of this you will immediately know you see here whatever i got no 0.189 into 10 to the power of 8 that exactly you already got here i by y automatically it uh, gives the thing and even the centroid also see here 67.85 what i just now got by theoretical method automatically it would have calculated that is the beauty of answers once you give the Values W1, W2, W3, T1, T2, T3, and all that automatically it calculates. Okay, all we have got it. Okay, now you see here once you do this, section is over, then you go for modeling, create key points in active coordinate system. This is 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, you take 2. Since you are taking everything in millimeter, 5000, 0, 0 you take. The third one, you take, third one, 5000, 1000 you take. All, uh, earlier we were taking minus 1000 and all that because we used to do it in anti-clockwise direction uh, orientation. Rotation in anti-clockwise direction. This I have taken to rotate in clockwise direction. You will know shortly. Okay. This you do. This is 1, 2, 3 and all that. Now you create lines. Lines. Straight line. You connect this and this. Create this and this. Say okay. Okay. Then. See here. Then meshing. Meshing size controls. That is manual size. Lines. Picket lines. If I take this and divide into some 50 divisions, divide into 50 divisions, if you do here, this is the thing, no? This is the thing. Okay, now I'll save this, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll save up to this. Okay, I'll save up to this. Okay, now see here, then mesh, mesh lines. Pick call if you do, you have got it now. Okay. Now pick call. Now plot controls, style, size and shape, display element on. If you do okay, if you take this, you see here. That actually, it is oriented in this way. This has to be turned clockwise by 90 degrees so that you should be loading on this. That means this has to be turned 90 degrees. That is why I have, that is why what I'll do is I'll resume DB. That is previous stage I'll go. Okay, now what I'll do is I'm meshing mesh attributes. Okay, picket lines. I take this. I just say okay. Pick orientation point compulsively. You say yes. Just say okay. And then this point you choose orientation point because I've taken here because I have to rotate in clockwise direction 90 degree. Just say okay. Then mesh lines. Pick call you do. Okay. Now you have got 50 this thing, 50 elements and all that. Okay. Now what I do is style, size and shape, display elements. Okay, you do. Now you just see it is perfectly placed. Can you understand? It is already turned by 90 degree. It is exactly in the same way what I wanted. Okay. Now what I do is now I go for loading, loadings, load, define loads, apply structural. Displacement on key points. You take here and here. Just say okay. Ux, Uy, Uz. Rotation, x, rotation, y. You make it zero. 
okay you make it zero then what you do is pressure on beams pressure on beams take box tell it the entire thing tell it the entire thing say okay okay then you give this as pull it is pull no pull kilo newton meter in that way you give this okay now this is perfect way you see here you are loading on the top flange it is perfect here everything you are do doing it correctly till now okay it is loaded on the upper flange okay now once you do this solution solve current ls you do just say okay okay solution is done message has you got you are in the right track that means you are correct till now now this has been done then you go for now till now the pre processing phase is over solution phase is over now you go for post processing phase general post process see here first thing what you do is first thing whether you have correct done, correctly done or not list results reaction solution you just watch okay now you see here it is 30000 30000 what you had got it is perfectly fi the total the, the total load on that is 60000 now it is 30000 30000 on the supports that is perfect now plot results here you see carefully deformed shape deformed plus undeformed see here perfectly you got 24.9591.95 mm is the maximum deformation due to 12 kilo newton per millimeter load udl this is one thing then immediately this is the thing what you have to record and you have to show it to the examiner and all that then you go for element table define table okay add okay by sequence number 34 you take apply the sequence number 39 you take apply by sequence number 35 you take apply by sequence number 40 you take and say okay 34 39 35 40 you have taken and just say close now you be careful here whatever you got by theoretical results that should match now now this is one important thing which you record 24.959195 is the correct deformation due to udl that is 12 kilo newton per millimeter but uh, because of that it has bent like this 24.999195 is the deformation this is one thing what you have to do then plot results okay contour plot line azimuth results 34 and 39 you take okay now you see here perfectly it is minus 202.0979 okay but uh, during by, by theoretical methods we got 202.67 this is the uh, that is at the uh, this is minus 202.079 no this is at the top flange top flange that is top top flange it is minus 202.709 because it is subjected to compulsive stress 202.7 this is another important thing what you have to record and show it to the examiner it is perfectly you see here minus 202 this is at this bottom you have got negative here that is why it has come below okay below this x axis it has come minus 2 now line element results then 35 and 40 you go 35 and 40 if you go you see a perfectly it is at the bottom fiber that larger uh, uh, that is uh, flange that is 134.667 what we had got okay it is 134.62 from the theoretical we are getting very close answers okay in that way we have proved perfectly this problem in all respect these things you remember this is one of the very good problems given in almost all the university in this, in india and abroad whether you have got the you know the basics or not okay please go through this tutorial again to understand it has to be loaded on the upper flange only and orientation and all that please remember now we have come to the end of this session thank you very much for watching thank you friends thank you